All right, guys, I apologize for the quality of this video, but unfortunately, it's what I'm going to have to deal with because I have three cameras sitting here and none of them seem to work. Um, I'm not sure what's up, but I'm using a phone, so it's going to be a little wiggly, but hopefully everything will be so that you can still do. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about fractions, decimals, and percents. So... What I want to do in this video is think about some common fractions, decimals, and percents that everyone should know. Okay, the first thing I want to think about is the decimal one. Okay, one represents 100%. Okay, and if you think of it as a decimal, it's like 1.00. .00 or 1.0 or 1.000, dep depending on how many places that you actually need to be represented. All right, now let's think about the number one half. Okay, half of anything would be like half a dollar, which would be 50%, and it would also be 50 cents, okay? or 0.5 or 0.50, because remember, we can always eliminate those last zeros, okay? Now, what one half, remember back to when we did the paper folding, and to get one fourth, we've made it half of this one half. We folded it in half. So, half of 50 is 25, so that would represent 25%, and half of 50 cents would be a quarter, or 0.25. Okay, you should know these three decimals equivalents without any problems at all. You should always know those. And think about going to the store and seeing a 50% discount, half off, a fourth off, and so forth. So these all three, they're interchangeable, and you have to know how to do that, okay? So let's look just a little bit more at the concept of one-half, or 0.50. All right, now let's think about what, that, what do we do to get to 50%. What happens to the decimal point? And remember, if there is no decimal, it's automatically all the way to the right. So in order to change this decimal number to a percent, all I do is move my decimal two places to the right. Okay? Two to the right gets me a percent if I have a decimal. In other words, I'm multiplying by 100, because that's two places, okay? So that if I had a number like 0.34 represented as a percent, or 34 hundredths, to change to a percent, I move it two places to the right, which means it would be 34 percent, okay? Also, a number like 2.3 to change to a percent, two places to the right. Well, notice I don't have two places. So then I would add a zero to accommodate it, and my decimal point would end up over here, which would make it 230%. Now, keep this in mind. One hole is 100%. Two holes, then, would represent 200%. Think pie or pizza. One whole pizza is 100%. Two of them would represent 200%. So if I have two point a decimal, whatever it is, I know that I'm going to have more than 200%, but less than 